just made it to Ikea. I'm gonna pick up one of these because I love these. I put my dirty clothes when I do laundry. They're only 99 cents. Okay, you guys, look how cute this is. I found this dome little thing. Okay. It's, this is what it is right here. How cute. It's only $14.99, so I'm definitely gonna use this for. What, Baba? Apple's party. For Apple's party, yeah, look, we're gonna. How cute is this little doll? It's so cute. They have like two different sizes. I don't know which one. Okay, we found what we were looking for. So I was looking for these. I'm gonna do a little DIY. That's what they look like. This is how they come, but this is what they look like. So I think I'm going to paint it gold with like some red roses and they are only 99 cents so I'm going to pick some up. Okay, I found the frame I was looking for. Here it is. $24.99. I'm going to spray paint it gold. And I don't know what I'm going to put in the middle yet. So this is what I ended up picking up. So excited to start doing DIY. So we're gonna try some IKEA food. We haven't tried this before. Okay, so we ended up getting garlic toast, chicken tenders, and Bubba, you got chicken tenders? Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> You're silly. So the first thing you're gonna need is a hot glue gun. You're gonna need some red roses. You can find these. I found these at Joanne's in the, um, it's kind of like the button section. And then we're gonna use these um, Tulsby frames from Ikea. You can find these for 99 cents. And yellow spray paint. This is my favorite brand. You can find it at Walmart for like three something. And if you have nails like I do, you can use a latex glove. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is take it out of the package and all you have to do is screw it on like this and then take out this part, which is the part where the picture goes in because we're going to spray paint the frame first. Okay, so now we are going to take the Krylon um, spray paint and this is in the color sun yellow. And now we're just gonna spray paint them. Make sure to shake it. And spray. I'm gonna start adding the roses. Once the frames are dry, you're going to want to take the little roses. Like I said, I found these in like the button aisle where they have safety pins at Joanne's. Um, and then what you're going to do is pop a little bit of glue on the back. And you can place it in the center. I'm going to be placing them in the center like that. See? 
Okay, so you can actually leave it like this or you can add some bows. I am actually incorporating a little bit of blue for the beast in her party. So I'm going to add some blue bows. Just add a little bit to the back and just place it right on top. There you have it. Okay, so here is the finished product. Um, you can actually make this for any theme. You can um, change the colors around. If you have a pink and gold party, you can paint this gold with pink flowers. If you're having like, um, this one actually actually goes good with uh, Snow White. So for the centerpiece, what you're going to need is a glue gun, scissors, a pair of scissors, some gold spray paint. I chose gold, but you can do whatever color you'd like. So these are actually the top of candles, like the little tiny candles. You put the, This is the lid for those. Some mirrors, some yellow ribbon. I got the... This one is from Joanne's. I got it in yellow. Then we're gonna need some bases and we're gonna need some fake flowers. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is take the Krylon Gold Spray. I have mine in Brilliant Gold. This is totally optional. You can leave them the way they are, but since I want them to match my, um, my color schemes in my party, I'm gonna actually paint them gold. So first you're going to want to take the little clear part off of this um, candle holder. So you're just going to have to pull it apart so that you take this part out. And then you're just left with this part. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is take the candle holder and then glue the bottom part. Just make sure there's a lot of glue on the bottom. And just place it right in the middle like that. There you go. And just continue to do it for all five of them. I'm doing five because I'm having a small party this year. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is take the ribbon and I'm going to measure around the, the top part to see how big um, to cut them. Because the thing is that we're trying to hide this. And once we have this size, we're just gonna cut five more. I mean, four more, sorry. <laughs> and then I'm gonna put a little bit of glue and place the ribbon right there. And then just go around it like that and then glue it again, same spot. So now that we have this part ready, we can also do the bow. Okay, so now it's time to make the bow. So I'm gonna take the same yellow ribbon and make a bow. This is what I like to do. I like to make the two bunny ears and then just like a regular shoe tie and just kind of adjust it to make it really nice. Make sure the satiny part is on the outside because it just makes it look really nice. It makes it look a little bit more neat. And then you're gonna take the front part and add a little bit of glue and just put it in the center, like that. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna wanna do is take some roses and I actually cut off some petals for the other from the other roses so that you can hide the bottom part. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it really, really short like so and we're gonna bend the bottom like this and we're gonna take one of the mirrors and we're just gonna paste glue right in the center like that and then we're gonna place the rose right on top of it and while it's drying go ahead and add a petal to hide the the little um, crease that we made so you can't really see it. So then it ends up like that. And there you have the enchanted rose. Okay, 
Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is the flower vase. So you're gonna need a flower vase. I bought mine from the Dollar Tree. Then you need some Mod Podge um, glue. And I got the gloss one. And then here's another one. Um, this one's a shiny one. They also have a matte one, but I like the shiny one. You're gonna need some um, paint brushes. And I got these ones. These I'm gonna use for the candy table. Um, I have some scotch tape and you're gonna need a paper any kind of paper. I got this This is just regular cardstock and I forgot to mention that I will be using this is the most important part It's extra fine glitter What you're gonna do is you're gonna take the, the base and some tape and then you're gonna tape where you want the glitter to be I like to use these sponges because they make it easier to paint on Okay, so once you have the glitter all over the bowl, you're gonna take your sealant. This is a sealant, so what it's gonna do is gonna keep any of the glitter from falling out. So just give it a little shake. And just start spraying it. Okay, so the reason why we needed this cardstock is to put all the extra glitter inside the can so we can reuse it. Okay, so now the last part you need to do is take off the tape and I love using this scotch tape because it's easier to take off than the clear tape. So what I'm going to do is start from here and just slowly take it off. But here is the finished product. I'm going to be using real roses at the party, but I don't have any, so this is just to show you how it's gonna look, like the colors I'm gonna be using. Okay, so the next project we're gonna work on are these cute little um, mirrors. They look like the one that the Beast has. I so all I did was tape it with some scotch tape and then I'm gonna spray paint it with this gold. So basically what you wanna do is just kind of go with the, the size of the mirror and just make sure that there's no little cracks. I got these mirrors at the Dollar Tree, so it's pretty inexpensive. So the next thing we're gonna do is water bottle labels. Um, I get asked a lot how I do my water bottle labels. There's tons of different ways you can do it, but I'm gonna show you one of the ways that I do mine. So the first thing you're gonna need is a pair of scissors, some clear tape, I buy mine from the Dollar Tree. Um, the labels, I actually buy my designs off of Etsy.com, I just search up Beauty and the Beast water bottle labels and these are the ones that I like the most and then some water I bought this one from Walmart for I think it was like three dollars okay so the first thing you want to do is take the old label off and I'm going to be using my scissors because it's easier and then once you have this off you're gonna kind of measure where you want the bottle because sometimes there's like a line so we're gonna put this one on the front just like that and then we're gonna cover it with tape. So what we're gonna do is tape it from one side and just tape it all around like so. And then cut it. There you have your water bottle label. Super easy and cute like to customize your parties. Um, these are not able to go in the water but you can put them in the refrigerator until they are ready to display. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is the center of the candy table. So I bought this for my Ikea, as you guys seen in the um, 
vlog and then I'm gonna be making putting these flowers in an A for my daughter's name is Apple and I think I'm going to actually spray paint this one yellow so we're gonna need the yellow spray paint again but this is gonna be pretty easy because we just have to kind of like glue these on in an A shape okay so the first thing you want to do is turn it around and just take off the center glass piece so you're gonna want to pick these up Okay, so once again, we're gonna take the sun yellow uh, Krylon and just spray paint the whole thing yellow. Okay, so once we spray painted this, we're gonna let it dry for a little bit and then we're gonna work on the center part. Okay, so instead of making the A, I'm actually going to take this beautiful big red rose and I'm gonna glue it onto the glass. So after it's done drying, you can go ahead and put the frame back on. So this is what it looks like. And I will insert a clip of how it looks on the candy table. So cute, I love it. Okay, so for my next craft, I am going to be using this dome that I found from Ikea. I believe it was $15. So we are gonna turn this into the enchanted rose for the center of Apple's candy table. You can find these anywhere at the Dollar Tree. I got this one from Hobby Lobby. And you're just gonna cut the end. Oopsie. You're just gonna cut the end off like this and then bend the, the, the stem just like the um, standard pieces that we made and we're gonna glue it. Put some glue on it, hold it there for a little bit. So to start the table too, so you're gonna need a pair of scissors, a roll of um, elastic, you're gonna need some tool. I got this one from Hobby Lobby for $2 a roll, and there's 50, I got 15 rolls just so it could be a little bit fuller. And you're going to need a cardboard because we're gonna use this to um, measure how long we're gonna cut the tool. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the elastic, we're going to wrap it around the table so that we can have something to um, put the tool on. Okay, we have my little helper, Alyssa. Hi. <laughs> She's going to help us roll. Let's just um, keep rolling this around until the end of the roll. A part where you started it. And then you're just gonna repeat it 15 more times with all these tools. Okay, so then you're gonna take um, a couple strands, fold them in half, put them underneath, and then put them through the hole. Pull it and tighten it, and there you go. 